whenever someone asks us about a semi-auto that's not cycling, we, we say to them, have you stripped and cleaned it? And that's the first thing that they have to do before they go any further or send it back to us. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to strip clean this, this gun and show you how it should be stripped and cleaned. So I'm going to t strip the gun down first, take the fore end nut off. Then the fore end will come off. And I'm going to take the barrel off. Okay. Next we want to strip down the action. Um, on the A400 it's got a keyway system to remove the uh, cocking handle. Um, so I have to depress the bolt heads very, very slightly to then remove the bolt handle. Once the bolt handle's out, we can remove the breech bolt. Next thing I'm going to do is remove the trigger. Uh, it's got a pin that holds it in place and I'm just going to uh, knock that pin out. Okay, that's the pin out. To remove the trigger, depress the cartridge latch button and just lift the trigger mech out of the way. Here we can see now that we've got um, an area we can now clean the inside of the action out. Um, as you can see, it's quite dirty inside. We always say that it should be cleaned after every use. If they're, they're shooting more than 100, then uh, they really need to just strip and clean it and um, that way it will uh, stop any uh, non-cycling and the action clogging up with the carbon from the shells. Okay, that's the action a lot cleaner than it was. You've got inside the action, you can see where the breech bolt runs up and down. That has to be uh, nice and clean, and when we put it back together, we will just put a drop of uh, lubricant in that area so the breech bolt can run up and down nice and smooth. Next, I'm going to uh, strip down the bolt, take it down to its uh, component parts, clean them off, and then put it all back together. So first of all, I'm going to remove the pin that holds the striker in. It also holds the rest of the components in place. So there's a slight hole on the other side and you push the pin out, holding on to the striker, striker and the spring is removed. Got to remove the lock head pin on the bolt next which should just come straight out, the bolt head is a part and that's all we need to uh, clean on there and take apart. These towels are like a wet wipe towel uh, that are actually a de degreasing uh, towel. Um, they are damp and um, we use them to take all, all the uh, carbon from the shells off. people at home then what would you suggest? Um, just uh, uh, some tissue uh, and some oil will do exactly the same. Uh, if you do use oil wipe the bolt dry afterwards um, because you don't want too, too much oil on the uh, area of the bolt. Now I'm going to clean the bolt head. As you can see, it's got a lot of carbon all over it. That's the bolt nice and clean. A 
lockhead pin. Retaining spring. And the striker O-ring. Okay, that's all nice and clean. We'll reassemble it now. The bolt head on. The lock head pin. It's got an indicating line. This shows you where the hole is, so uh, you can push the striker, striker in. Hold it in place. Put the locking pin back in. And we can see the striker comes out. So that's um, completely stripped down, cleaned, and uh, put back together. Next, we're just going to wipe over the trigger mech, make sure uh, that's nice and clean before it all goes back into the action. Okay, there we are. That's been wiped down, all ready for reassemble. Next we're going to check the uh, piston and the gas ports in the barrel. The piston should move up and down freely. Um, on all these models they have a piston ring uh, around that should be uh, nice and cent central. It's, it should be circular and it shouldn't be deformed or bent in any way. This one, although dirty, is okay. Um, so next I'm going to check oh, the um, gas port in the barrel. On the A400s um, you have one of these holes um, which is the gas ports. Uh, one of those is open. That hole um, lets the exhaust from the shell back, pushes the piston and works a complete mechanism. Because of that uh, you will get the exhaust from the shell back into the action. That's one of the reasons why we clean it. Okay, so we just double check that the hole's nice and clean. Uh, we use the, uh, a long series drill bit just to uh, put into the hole just to take any carbon deposits away. Okay, and then we will uh, put the piston back in and as you can see, it's moving up and down freely. The gun's now clean. We're gonna reassemble it, lubricate it, um, this should be done on all Beretta models um, from the 391 through to the A400s and the, the, the 300 series. This would be exactly the same. Okay, first of all, I want to lubricate the channels where the breech bolt runs up. Now this is only a drop of oil required and, and I'm going to drop it down onto the runner where the runners run up and down. And this should be oil, not grease. Grease is too thick and, and will bind any dirt in the uh, mechanism and slow the action down. So it's a light oil that's required to go in. Right, I'm gonna put the breech bolt in, locate it down. Okay, cocking handle will then go in. So I have to line the keyway up, as you can see there. The keyway, hole and then push the cocking handle in. I can now then work the breech bolt up and down and as you can see there are no restrictions and it, and it helps bed the lubricant in. Next I'm going to put the trigger mech back in. Okay, we do it with the, with the hammer cocked. I press the cartridge latch button because it makes it easier to go in. Once that's in, I can then push the pin back in to hold the trigger mech in place. I can then again work it back up and down to make sure that it all's well and good. By pressing the uh, little button on the underside that will then lock the breech bolt back to make it easier to uh, put the barrel onto the action. 
Next I grab the barrel and carefully align it into place. Four end wood. And then the four end nut. Okay, that's the action then cleaned um, and ready to go for next time.